Hi there everybody. On today's video I have this um, Audi A4. This is a an Avant 2011. <clears throat> I'm gonna be changing basically this uh, this arm here, this one. Not the not the one not on the the one at the front here, but the one at the back, the one that's curved. Um, as the bush, the bush in here is all cracked and worn, so I'm gonna be replacing the arm. Um, so I've got the uh, the new arm down here. That's a motor equip make, and um, note that they are also. Uh, this is a, a left one, so the other one is uh, a right. They go an R there, and the other one is going an L. So you don't fit them the wrong way around, which I don't think you can anyway. But um, uh, so as you notice, I've already done one side. Now I'm going to do this side, and I'm just going to start by loosening this <coughs> ball joint here. That has a 21 mil Now, this might be quite tight in there, so I might just be able to move it with the air gun Okay, so if this was rotating, then uh, you would have to hold it here in the middle, but if that was rotating, then this would be loose. And the next... I'm gonna use, try a few things to remove this ball joint. Um, and they involve uh, these tools here, or that one there, and a hammer. <laughs> so I just keep the camera a little bit out of the way. I'm also going to be wearing some uh, goggles just in case anything. Uh, any metal or anything jumps out. Also, we can just uh, tap on the arm a little bit on the sides just to loosen it. So, it's just a few ways to get this out. Okay, that's uh, one way of doing it. <laughs> so that's just popped out of there. Now we wanna concentrate on the back bit. This part here, um, I'm just going to take this little cover out, give me a little bit more room to access the, the nut there and for the bolt to come out the bolt comes out that way into this heat shield cover here um, so the heat shield has a, a 13 mil uh, bolt up here which I've already removed it's literally just there there's a little hole and it just folds it down into this 
So if you remove that, you will be able to open this a little bit. Um, just to give us enough room to get the uh, the bolt out of there. We can loosen it here as well. It's a 10 mil. Okay, this thing rotates. Uh, I think it's supposed to be in there. It's not supposed to move, but since this is uh, quite tight in there, it does. It, it kind of moves everywhere. So anyway, it gives us a bit more access. And I'm also going to open this here. So if we take that out in there, 10 mil plastic nut, you can take that off. Now, now we need an 18 mil to get the nut and bolt out of out of that the connection here. So that can be quite tight in there, so I'm just going to use uh, a bit of an extension on my wrench here, on my uh, spanner, with another spanner, and I'm going to get it, actually I have to, <clears throat> going to get it opened. Okay, once that is moving, the back is going to be moving as well. So we want to hold it and take it out. So now we can get the bolt out from the back as we have some room to take it out. Get that out and then we want to take the arm out so I'm just gonna take it out of this end and uh, push it back a bit and you can just about wiggle that out of there I don't know if this can can be seen, but this uh, rubber is all. Yeah, I think you can see it. It's all it's cracked there, so this uh, rubber is not really doing a very good job anymore. It's, you can see the crack. Also, because it's noisy, it's actually making a noise and a very annoying sound. We got the new arm here. The easiest way is to fit the arm um, 
and then so we're gonna let's fit this arm in the arm in there I'm just pushing it to the back a little bit so I can sort of get this way in Okay, so I got that in. Just put that momentarily, and then we can fit our bolt in there. So now I'm just trying to fit the bolt up there. Just requires a little bit of wiggling a little bit this. Okay, that's in. So I've got the nut. Put the nut on that end. Okay, so I'm not going to tighten that up because it's not at the right angle. So if I tighten it there, when um, we lower the car, this arm will go up a little bit and then it will be under constant tension the rubber here will be under constant tension so we want it to be neutral so we'll lower the car put the wheels on lower the car and then at that position neutral position we can then tighten this so that is a bit of a, a fiddle because obviously um, having to get under the car to tighten this is a bit of a or um, I mean could jack, jack it up on the side and then get it at the position that we want it but in this case I think we're just gonna lower it and then tighten that and then obviously we have to fit the rest of the bits so all in all it's not really that terrible job this is in and to tighten this as well if you tighten this and uh, it starts rotating we need to So I can feel the center rotating, we need to hold it with our T40, I've got a T40 here. So hold the center and tighten this. Okay, once it's in, you'll be able to just, uh, once it's tight, I mean, you'll be able to just tighten it without holding the center. Okay, so that's it. I got more, both sides done. Now I'm gonna put the wheels and 
lower the car and tighten those. Obviously that's gonna be a bit of a fiddle. <laughs> I won't even be able to film that uh, because uh, I won't be able to get the camera underneath. But it's just a mat it's just really tightening those uh, those bolts and then refitting um, our shields here um, and the bottom cover that goes around here. So that's basically how um, I changed the arms on this car. So all in all, I hope this video helps. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, thank you for watching. And we'll see you on the next video.